Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Acts chapter 27, from verse 27 to 44. Acts chapter 27, from verse 27 to uh, 44. On the 14th night, we were still being driven across the Atlantic Sea. When about the midnight, the sailors sensed it. Uh, they were approaching land. They took uh, uh, soundings and found that water uh, was uh, 120 feet deep. A short time later, they took uh, uh, soundings again and found it was uh, 90 feet deep. Fearing that and we would be uh, dashed uh, against the rock, and they dropped four uh, anchors from the stand and then prayed um, for daylight. In another attempt to escape from the ship, the sailor uh, let the lifeboat uh, down into the sea, and pretending they were going to lower some uh, anchors uh, from the, the bow. Then the Paul said to the uh, centurion and the soldiers, Unless this man stay with the ship, you cannot be saved. So the soldiers cut the rope, the hill, the lifeboat, and let it fall away. Just before dawn, uh, Paul urged them all to eat. For the last 14 days, he said, we have been in constant, constant suspense and have gone without food. You haven't eaten anything. Now I urge you to take some food you need to, to survive. Not one of you will lose a single hair from his head. After he said this, he took some bread and gave thanks to God in front of them all. Then he broke it and began to eat. They were all encouraged and ate some food themselves. Altogether, there were, were two, seven, six of us on board. When they had eaten as much as they wanted, they、uh, lighted the ship by throwing the、uh, grain into the sea. When daylight came, they did not recognize the land. But they saw a bay with a sandy beach where they decided to land the ship around,、uh, uh, around if they could.、Uh, cutting loose the、uh, anchors, and they left them in the sea. At the same time, untied the rope they, that they held the, the, the luders. They h o s t e d to uh, the uh, foresail to the wind and they made it for beach. But the ship struck a sand bar and then、uh, aground. The bow、uh, struck the fast and would not move, and the steam、uh, stern was broken to pieces by the、uh, pounding of a saw. The soldiers planned to kill the prisoners to prevent any of them from the swimming away and escaping. But the centurion wanted to spare Paul's life and keep them from the carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and get to land. The rest were to get there on planks or pieces of the ship. Uh, and they, in this way, everyone reached the land in safety. This morning, according to the Acts chapter 27, from 27 to 44, and God raised up the spiritual leader in any circumstance. Especially, in, you can see the ship crack, and then, then everything will destroy it. And、um, you can see from verse 27 to、uh, 30, Paul was in there, but it's very hard in there. You can see 
when you live in this world, sometimes, two times, uh, hardship come. But when the hardship come, who going to use it uh, to overcome this hardship um, for you and for your neighbors? If you are a spiritual man, God wants to use you to, to supporting for the older people. At that time, actually, God used this man, Apostle Paul, uh, in, uh, in the ship and to save the older people. Yeah. And then, because of everybody's suffering and their struggle, but Paul, he remembered the word of God, what God spoke to him. He need to go to Rome to speak to Caesar. That is why he never ever uh, worried about any circumstance. But people, you know, they, they, are, they, they are suffering now. How many people? 276 people <coughs> on board. But these people, are, um, they are suffering now. Why? Because of, uh, it's a very dangerous situation. But if you look at the verse uh, 31 to 32, can you see that 31 to 32? And these people, especially uh, soldiers, and then they tried to escape from the shop. Why? Because of this, they saw this very dangerous situation. But thanks be to God, Paul shouting and say to the centurion and soldiers, unless this man stay with the ship, you cannot be saved. What does it mean? You cannot run away from this uh, ship. You have to stay together with us. That kind of attitude. And thanks be to God. Because, uh, you know, people, they don't see the whole picture. But Paul, he saw the whole picture of this situation. Unfortunately, uh, most of people, when they have some suffering and difficult things, they only focus on suffering. They only focus on problem. They only focus on the, the circumstance. Therefore, they never come out uh, from darkness. They never uh, come out from the, this kind of environment. But Paul, he knew, and he is the spiritual man. He spoke to them. Don't run away from the ship, because they they pretend and then then lay down the the lifeboat, you know, and then they try to escape. But Paul said, "Don't do it! Don't do it!" And they listened to Paul and they cut off the the um, the, the wire and then lifeboat is fall fall away, and then then now the soldiers prisoners all together in the same same boat. And then Paul, he knew what was going to happen. And then, thanks be to God, 33 and 34, Paul encouraged all the people. These people, prisoners, they didn't eat for 14 days. Can you imagine? Two weeks of fasting. 14 days they don't eat properly. That is why Paul said to the older people, we have been in constant uh, suspense and have gone without the food. You haven't eaten anything for 14 days. And he encouraged them, now I urge you to take some food, eating together. Now we have to eat, eat. And then he said, you need to eat to survive. Because he knew it's very dangerous. If they don't eat, uh, you know, everybody died. Therefore, eat. And then he's speaking, none of you will lose a single hair from um, his head. He knew and he encouraged the older people. You know, everybody, you know, discouraged. Everybody is a uh, difficult situation. But Paul, he is the only one, only one. He stand up, he encourage them, eating now, eat. I think it's uh, everybody, all prisoners, and then I think the soldiers, they are so happy. You know, time to eat, uh, time to get the strength. You know, if they eat, yeah, the food go inside the, uh, the belly, yeah. And then also they throw it all the non-necessary things in the boat and, and they ship it. They throw away, actually. And then verse 36 say, yeah, 
they all encouraged and ate some food themselves. But if you look at the verse 35, uh, this is the main, main, you know, this is the main encouragement for everybody by Paul. Paul say, you know what Paul did? After he said this, he took some bread. He said, he, he took some bread and gave thanks to God, you see. I don't think it's um, over even 90% or even most of people, they don't believe in Jesus. But he speak in front of a centurion, in front of a soldier, in front of all the prisoners in the, in the, in the ship. And he say, he give thanks to God in front of them all. And he broke, him, broke it and began to eat. It's look like Holy Communion, <laughs> you see. Then Paul, he wanted to encourage all the people and he gave thanks to God, God of Israel. This is most important. And then actually most of the people, when they have a very difficult situation, if you're a spiritual leader, yeah, you can give thanks to God. You know, none of them complain. Everybody's suffering. But that kind of encouragement, even give the food. Everybody listen. Everybody you know, pursued by the, the Paul's advice. Yeah. Everybody participate what Paul said, what Paul encouraged. And then thanks be to God, in that terrible situation, somebody still encouraged all other people. His name is Apostle Paul. God using him. Yeah, and then verse 38 say, when they had eaten as much as they wanted, they uh, they lightened, lightened the ship by throwing the uh, grain into the sea. They eat and eat, and they, everything is a throwaway. And then because of the boat uh, is, uh, need to be uh, lifted up. And then, you know, in any situation, again I say to you, God knows what's going to happen. Also, you know what's going to happen. Therefore, you are the one to, to leading the people in the difficult situation. And God used this man, um, Paul, to save the 276 people. It's a lot, almost 300 people in danger. But God used this man, Paul, to save all of them. Not by centurion, not by anybody. Actually, the soldiers, they tried to kill these prisoners. Yeah? And then you can see the verse 38 is, is the wisdom of God. Yeah? God gave the wisdom to, to throw away everything from the ship. And then verse 39 to 41, again, they have some difficulties. You know, when they eat in and do things, everything is doing well, but still there are more difficulties. <laughs> and then, and then you can see how God is working. And but verse forty-two, when they see the difficulties again, you know, <laughs> the the ship is stuck and no move. And then stone was broken to pieces by the uh, pounding of a stone. Yeah, you can see the, the water damage, the wind and uh, damage the, the, the ship. But verse 42, what soldier they want to do? Soldier planned to kill all prisoners, including the Paul. Can you imagine? Paul is the one to save all the people. But these people, the soldiers, they want to kill all the prisoners. Why? Because they pre pre prevent any of them from swimming away and escaping. You know, I know that because I was working in the, you know, Brixham prison at the Chaplin, when the situation damaged the prisons or something happened, earthquake, automatically people, they're willing to learn away. Do, do you understand? People, they're willing to learn away, especially prisoners, uh, when the ship sank and destroyed, they willing to swimming and then escape. This is a plan. That is why the soldiers they try to kill all the prisoners. Yeah. And verse forty three, you can see that the Dr. Centurion wanted to spare Paul's life. He wanted to save the Paul's life. 
thanks be to God, not only for his life and kept them from carrying out uh, their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and get to land. Do you know God used this century man? Yeah, thanks be to God. God used the Paul, yeah, but in the same time, God used some other guy, century man, to don't kill the everybody. But soldiers try to kill, but the, the leader, Centurion is a leader of 100 soldiers. Centurion man, he asked them, don't kill. And the verse 44, uh, they arrive, uh, they reach the land safely. You know, it, this is a miracle. This is a miracle. You know, you can, nobody died. Nobody died. According to what? According to the Paul's prophecy. Paul, he received the revelation of God. God spoke to him. You will go to Rome to see the Emperor Caesar. And then Paul remembered what God spoke to him. And if you look at the, uh, Acts chapter 27, verse 22. Acts chapter 27, verse 22. But now I urge you to keep up your courage because not one of you will be lost, or you know, ship will be destroyed. You see, Paul, he knew people happening. That is why he spoke to them. None of you guys died. No, only ship did, will be destroyed. And he speaks like this. Even verse 4 to 24 to 26 in Acts chapter 27. Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar. And God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you, you see. God already spoke. You don't die. Even all the people surrounding you live together in the same boat. They will survive because of you. And verse 25, so keep your courage, man, for I have a faith in God that it will happen, just as he told me. Nevertheless, we must learn around on some Iceland. You see, Paul, he knew what can happen because he remembered the word of the law. I think he says, you know, when you did the Bible, Remember what God said. <laughs> this is most important. Don't focus on your circumstance. Remember, God wants to uh, raise up the spiritual leader in any circumstance. You know, any some crisis time in all of the world, God is still looking for some spiritual leader to save the nation, to save the people. Same thing, the same ship. 276 people stay inside of the same ship. But who is the main actor in there? Paul. Paul was in there. Because of Paul, none of them died. As God spoke to Paul. Therefore, when you live in this world, uh, hear what God say. And then remember what God say. Keep the word of God and just obey. Yeah, And you are the one to encourage the older people in that circumstance. You know, because of coronavirus, everybody is suffering and difficulties. But you and I have good news. Who is good news? Jesus Christ is the good news. Savior of the world is Jesus Christ. And then people, they are suffering. People are in, in, in the depression and then in the darkness. You and I have good news for these people. This is the leaflet and preach the good news. Uh, on the street, and uh, we bring the leaflet to house to house, uh, and then we bless the people. Yeah, thanks be to God. And then, you know, by the grace of God, we supporting for our community with the word of the law. People they need the encouragement by word, the word of God. You know, the word of God is the main encouragement. Paul, he get the encouragement by the word of God. When you get encouragement by the word of God, he knows how to encourage the others. He encouraged all other people by the word of God. Therefore, keep the word of God and obey the word of God and do it. And then your society, your nation uh, will be blessed. 
Today is the 12th of April, yeah, 2021, and then from, I think from midday today, 12 o'clock, and then now, from 12 o'clock, and then our lockdown is a uh, much release. Of course, still we keep the social distance and keep wear the mask, but uh, you know, most of the restaurant, even gym is open. When they open and they keep the six people in one table, but not inside, but outdoor. And it's much, much better. But thanks be to God. You know, we pray to the Lord God who did remove the coronavirus. We prayed and prayed for over one year. And then now it's much better. And uh, But I trust in Jesus. Can you trust in Jesus? And uh, who controlled the whole world? No Satan. God is the one. Yeah, God is in control. Therefore, therefore, look like government, look like some prime minister or president to control the people, not nearly. Still God is working. Still God is working. Therefore, we never give up to share the good news about Jesus. Paul, he is the one to encourage the people eating together. Fourteen people, they, fourteen days they never eat. They, they eating. How? Do you know the food is like the, more sweet than the honey? So precious. Fourteen days, do you know, like uh, fasting, not by, by willingly fasting, but like a force by soldiers. But they enjoy the food. Not only enjoy the food, they survive from this terrible, you know, you know uh, accident and then terrible situation. And then, but God wants to use you and use me to save the others. 276 people survived because of a Paul. You see, God used the one spiritual man, save the people, save the community, even save the nation, save the nation. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this time, and you can use us uh, for your glory. I know. Uh, God wants to raise up spiritual leader to bless the nation, bless the community. Father, and you God used the power to save the 276 people and then you can use us to save the nation. Father God, this nation needs the word of God. We are the one to meditate your word. Therefore, we have encouragement, we have the hope, we have the divine strength. We know how to lead in the people. Because we have the word, the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away. The word of God never pass away. We have the everlasting your word. Therefore, we have the word of the Lord to bless others, encourage others. Father, we thank you. People, uh, how much they are so, uh, so grateful, uh, so thankful because of a Paul, their life uh, you know, survive. Father, we thank you. And Paul, uh, he give thanks in front of all these people. And uh, he just share the, share the um, good news, share the thank, good news of God in front of all these secular people. But Lord, I ask you, can you use us as a Paul to share the good news of Lord Jesus in any circumstance? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening and uh, watching, and may God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. And then uh, Jesus is the still the same yesterday, today, and forever. What does it mean Jesus is still the same yesterday, today, and forever? Which means the Word of God, the Word here. This Word of God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah? Have a good, great day. Bye now.